Good morning and welcome back to Morning at NTV and this is the Take Note segment. Before um, we went on the different segments, we promised you that we will bring to you a conqueror of mental health, of depression. Liz Kakosa, a mental health advocate now, is here in studio. Thank you for making time. Thank you for having me. Liz, we have such a short period of time, I but I really so I, I need you to speak directly to someone who is watching us, who okay. maybe is going through the same um, issues. Maybe is it depression? mental health maybe it could be you know in the beginning phases yes. maybe it could be someone who is already you know in advanced stages okay. what would you tell them um, like I always say you're not alone um, there's so many people out there dealing with you know there's similar issues um, and the best thing to always do is um, the best thing to do is reach out to somebody whoever you feel um, you can talk to or whoever you feel would understand you or you know give you a listening ear or a shoulder to cry on um, always reach out to somebody. Uh, remember, you just as long as you know you're not alone in the struggle, there's always someone um, you can talk to. You can, as long as you know you can get help from somewhere. That's the most important thing. As long yeah. as you know you can get help from somewhere. Yeah. And um, you are now in advocacy, you're an advocate for this, and you actually started out a foundation yes. with that regard. And yes. part of um, the big case that you actually raise is the issue of treatment in yeah. Africa yeah. Let, even in Uganda let's remain local in yeah. Uganda yeah. in your experience what are the key challenges I know for you the diagnosis the correct diagnosis yeah. was you know made later, later on yeah, later, later on yeah. so yeah. in terms of covering ground now with your foundation and as an advocate yeah. how far have you gone well, there's a lot of work to be done because, um, first of all, the, of course, the stigma that surrounds it, but also the lack of understanding, the lack of knowledge. There's, um, there's still a very huge gap in that space. That's why, at mind you, now we want to go more into, into education and uh, creating programs to get people to really understand what mental health is about. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of um, access to health care, yes, there's still a huge gap. Um, you know, from speaking to medical practitioners, people will tell you most people in, their, um, in med school um, do not find uh, psychiatry appealing. Mm. And that's even more dangerous for a country like ours because that means, like the, the statistic says right now, it's 37 um, psych qualified psychiatrists in Uganda. I mean, and yeah. our population keeps growing exponentially. Um, right. So that should bring about, you know, the, the figure to about um, one psychiatrist for every one million people, mm -hmm. which is not uh, feasible. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have only one still, one national referral hospital, even though we have provisions for psychiatric units and wards at health center falls around the country that are not, you know, they're not functional, they're not running. Um, but also that's because of the lack of... Um, the lack of human resource to, to ensure that they, they function as they should. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we want to do at, at Tumaini, and we, we need a lot of uh, public um, support um, from different stakeholders, the public, we want to roll out um, mental health first aid programs. So that ensures that even you can become a mental health first aider. You know, you don't have to go to study psychiatry or go to get a degree in counseling, yes. but just like any other you know, when someone suffers from an accident and they need first aid, I mean, that's a skill everyone should have. So mm -hmm. why not the same thing for, you know, mental health? Yeah. So that's one of the, the, the key things we want to embark on or we in intend to embark on very soon. There are many myths around mental health. And I'm sure even for you, as you were um, experiencing it, many people did not understand you, so to speak. It was yeah. a battle. It was a struggle. Bust those myths now. Um, well, one of the, the, the biggest myths I would like to dispel is, first of all, I don't like the, when people call um, people suffering from a mental health issue mad, mm -hmm. because people don't, uh, there's no such thing as madness, in my opinion. Um, but also, another myth I would like to dispel is that, um, you know, when people look at me f and, and they say, but you're such a happy person, how yeah. can you say you know you're depressed? Um, we keep saying mental health issues don't discriminate. They don't discriminate. They don't know social class. They don't know... They don't know race, they don't know religion, they, you know, yeah. they don't discriminate. So, and the statistic is alarming, like I said, one in every four people. So, I mean, if we're four people in this room, okay, me, I already know myself, mm -hmm. but um, if we're four people in this room, one of us is dealing with a mental health issue. So, um, you know, there, there's so many myths like that, that um, we work, we, we, we continuously want to change the, if we say change the conversation mm -hmm. and change the, 
people's understanding um, of, of mental health. But yeah, there's so many myths. Yeah, yeah. those are just a few I could, I, yeah. I could mention. Yeah, there. and maybe as we come to a close, I'm sure you and uh, Tumaini Foundation, you have quite a number of um, um, initiatives for people to just come together and open up and, you know, sort these issues yeah. together to find us. A, 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 like an, a space of secrecy because yeah. that is what we like and people say that ah, I cannot go to a counsellor because <laughs> yeah. or someone will take my story and share it to the next person yeah. and so to speak. So when is the next Girls for Talk coming up? Um, so in the next quarter we'll have um, we'll have a We'll have a session, mm -hmm. uh, but we're also rolling out a program that um, helps us reach, especially to workplaces and schools, create safe spaces for people to come and not just talk about mental health issues, but also learn, you know, skills to help the next person cope. So yeah, that's a program we'll be rolling out. It's called Mint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's um. So it's news. open to everyone. Yeah. So I mean, it, oh, it but it's it works best in group sessions because they're like workshops where okay. we yeah okay. we break certain issues okay. down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Now speak to them that are watching you right now. Tell them what they need to do. Um. The symptoms they need to watch out for. Maybe there's someone who is watching and they're like. Do I really, am I really um, depressed yeah. or not? You know, they really don't know. What should they look out for? The symptoms and what and at what point should they, you know, go for help? Uh, well, the symptoms for mental health issues vary because also there are um, d uh, thousands of different mental health issues. Yes. But for depression in particular is, uh, we say, prolonged sadness or a prolonged feeling of impending doom. And this is if you are suffering from this for, say, they say maybe um, two weeks to a month. If it exceeds that, then uh, seek out to a professional, talk to someone, and then... Um, together you can you know work out a diagnosis and mental health issues manifest themselves in different ways sometimes you go to a hospital and they tell you oh you have malaria because you know your joints hurt but that could be a mental health issue mm -hmm. so just you know remain alert and very mindful of your feelings and your emotions and yeah just um, cater to yourself you know that way we say keep fit physically also yes. keep um, you, you know fit um, mentally. mentally and take care of your mind and your thoughts and yeah Thank you so much for coming on the show. I think we need to have you back again just for you to share your story. But you have a blog where you write your stories as yes, well? Yes, that uh -huh. culturechick.wordpress.com. Okay, that's yeah. where you can get her story in depth. And that has been the discussion for today. Keep the conversation going. The hashtag is morning at 10 TV. Have a good morning.